being visually impaired is nothing to fear because I am here. I hope you're all ready, ladies and gentlemen, because it's math time. Welcome back to the Generation Millennium, everyone. I am your host, Jeffro Madness, and this is lesson two of Visual Braille, so welcome. But just as a quick recap as to what happened in the last episode, we learned the letters A, B, C, D, and E. And as another recap, remember that a Braille cell consists of six dot combinations, which are numbered one, two, three on the left side of the cell, and four, five, six on the right side of the cell from top to bottom. So for example, the letter A is represented by dot one, the letter B represented by dots one, two, letter C represented by dots one, four, D, one, four, five, and E, one, five. And that took place at the five, five letters of the alphabet. So for the second lesson for our excursion, we'll be moving on to letters F, G, H, I, and J. And the reason why I split them up like this is because these also represent the numbers. They're the last five digits that we'll be going over later. So starting off, the letter F is represented by dots one, two, four. G is dots one, two, four, five. H is dots one, two, five. The letter I is dots two, four. And finally, the letter J is dots two, four, five. When once again, while these may look like their visual counterparts, do not memorize these letters by their dot, well, pattern. Rather, you should memorize the dots themselves, but not the way that they look on screen, because that will only make it things harder later on down the road. So, to put these into practice, first off, we have feed, F-E-E-D. So, first off, F, dots, one, two, four, double E, so that's one, five, one, five, then D, one, four, five. Then we have the word jade, J-A-D-E. E. So for letter J, once again, that's going to be represented by dots two, four, five, A, dot one, D, dots one, four, five, E, dots one, five. Then we have hag, H, A, G. So H represented by dots one, two, five, A, dot one. G, one, two, four, five. Following that is the word jig, J, I, G, represented by dots two, four, five, two, four, one, two, four, five. And if I'm going too fast for any of you, remember you can always just rewind this video and re-listen to this. Then we have the word bide, B-I-D-E, B dots one, two, I dots two, four, D one, four, five, E one, five. And last word example, we have ache, spelled A C. H E A dot one C dots one four H dots one two five E dot one five 
And if you're wondering why I'm using these words in particular, it's because they're, these six words use up all the 10 letters that we've learned so far. So if we put them all into practice to make it easier to memorize. Because practice makes perfect and that's just the best way to go about it. And remember, you can always rewind this if you want to re-listen if I'm going too fast for you. So then now we move back to the numbers. And remember, the numerical sign is always placed in front whenever you're about to use a number. The numerical sign is represented by the dots three, four, five, six. So the new numbers are the last five letters of the alphabet that we have just learned how to use. But as a review, dot one is number one, two dots one, two, number three dots one, four, four is dots one, four, five, number five, one five, all with a numerical symbol in front of them. So for the number six, we then have dots one, two, four. The number seven, we have dots one, two, four, five. Number eight, we have dots one, two, five. Number nine, we have dots two, four. And finally, the number zero, we have dots two, four, five. So as you can probably tell, there is the numbers just go from one to zero, not from zero to nine, which does make it a lot easier to memorize. And if you want to use any further digits, you would just use any combination of these numbers. So for example, you want to make the number 10. If you were to, if you were to count up, you would have numerical sign, dot A, followed by dot two, four, five. Simple as that. Just we always remember to put the numerical sign in front before you put, use any numbers, even though they use the same symbols as the letters. Just always remember to put the numerical sign in front. And that just about covers it. I know this may seem shorter than my last video, but it's mostly just review and just a lot of practice. So review, practice, and that's all I can really say. I'm just repeating myself at this point. So if any of you found my next lesson to be nice and helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe to the Generation Millennium. And I will make out these videos as a weekly basis until I pretty much just catch up to whatever I'm currently learning. And trust me, I am learning braille as fast as I can, but even still, I've been learning this for like two years now, and I'm only about like halfway through part two of three. But I'm still making good progress, and by the time I catch up, hopefully, my, you've all liked my comments and videos so much, that I can actually make this a full-fledged series and maybe even improve even further upon my content. So without further ado, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>